In today's video, I'm excited to provide an update on an AI company trying to disrupt the healthcare and drug discovery sector. So without wasting any time, let's jump in and see what the company's been up to. Immunoprecise Antibodies is the company we're giving an update on today. And they're on the NASDAQ under the ticker IPA. And this one's interesting because the saying is that volume usually precedes price. Is that what's happening here? Well, we wanna find out why the stock is currently on sale and if something might be missed here by the market. If we look to this headline here, which tells us that 90% of clinical drug developments fail and how can we improve that? Well, this seems like a pretty big problem. And under the uh, NIH, well, they're telling us, how can we fix this? And how is immuno Immunoprecise Antibodies uh, Company gonna help with that? Well, make sure you watch all the way until the end. AI's potential to accelerate drug discovery needs a reality check. Uh, yes, why? Because the existing system does not work, but AI algorithms have found and uncovered 160,000 new RNA viruses. Uh, that's a lot, that's right. And these things work faster and more efficiently than humans. Trillions of viruses live in our bodies and AI is trying to find them. Uh, yes, that seems like a really big problem. And there's a lot of humans who wanna live for a long time, I think all of them. And this is where IPA is gonna have an advantage here. This is where they've launched their HYFT patterns program. And here's some key highlights from the white paper. It's introducing the HYFT patterns. This pattern introduces a uh, HIFT uh, patterns as unique signature sequences akin to biological fingerprints. So uh, these are found in amino acids, DNA, and RNA. These patterns serve as a tool to tokenize and harmonize all biological data into a unified omnics language. This kind of sounds like uh, indexing Google or the internet so we can crawl it for later. That's really the essence of what I get from this news release right here. If we continue the story here, now this one here from March 24th tells us that uh, one of their subsidiaries, sorry, not one of their subsidiaries, what they're doing here is actually stacking it. So they have a major breakthrough. IPA subsidiary, oh, there we go. Sorry, just make sure you read the news releases, Justin. All right, there we go. IPA subsidiary Biostrand unveils major breakthrough in life sciences with advanced foundation AI model utilizing LLM stacking and HIF technology. Whoa, uh, there's a lot of word stuffed into there. That's right. And Dirk Van Hift, who's the MD and PhD, maybe that's where the name comes from, and head of innovation at Biostrand, is to present his findings at next week's conference in Orlando. That was in March. Uh, that was last year. So the company has made some progress since then. Let's keep following the story. IPA subsidiary solves the information or IID integration dilemma for system uh, biology. This company is trying to integrate and align all of these technologies. And we are thrilled to have overcome the information integration dilemma. Which, was long, which has long been a major hurdle in our, in our industry. Our HIF technology and Lens AI uh, platform are now poised to revo revolutionize the way researchers and, and AI-driven systems process and analyze complex biological data, ultimately leading to faster and more effective drug discovery and development. That's exactly what we said at the beginning of the video. How many are there? There's trillions of viruses. There's a lot of work to do. So let these robots get to work. All right, very encouraging sign. Now, skipping forward here to August of 2024, they tell us that immune precise antibody successfully engineers in silico antibodies to elusive tumor proteins using its patented lens AI technology. AI and saving humans. This also sounds really cool. Historically, biological drug discovery has been, uh, has been a risky, time-consuming, and expensive endeavor with failure rates exceeding 90%, as we just showed you. Recent data indicates that now costs approximately $1.3 billion and takes an average of 10 to 15 years to bring a new drug to market. That's a lot of cost and a lot of time, uh, with cost potentially rising even higher depending on the complexity of the drug and therapeutic area. The successful application of Lens AI, along with the laboratory validation of these novel antibodies, underscores Lens AI's potential to accelerate the development of precision targeted treatments aimed at more effective cancer therapies with fewer side effects. Something I think all humans want. 
European Patent Office to grant BioKeys patent application for Foundation HIF technology. This is also important because it looks like it's a market they want to go into and they want to pay, uh, pay attention to uh, the regulatory landscape. That's important. Intersystems, an IPA subsidiary, BioStrand collaborate, co collaborates to unveil the innovation integration of vector search with Lens AI for AI-driven healthcare applications. This is kind of what we alluded to at the beginning. And with the AI global market projected to grow to over $1.3 trillion by 2032, the collaboration between Intersystems systems and IPA highlights both companies' commitment to innovation, excellence, and the development, is, development of solutions that not only meet the current needs of healthcare and life science sectors, but also anticipates future challenges with additional client solutions and development expected with vector search and lens AI. So it looks like they're using a search with their database. And this is what we really talked about. It's crawling the internet. It's what Google really started with. Are they onto something here? Is the market underappreciating what's going on here? Is that what this volume shows us here? And now we're looking for the follow through. Uh, well, that's what you got to find out if it meets your investment criteria. So please make sure you watch all the way until the end, including my disclaimer. Thank you very much. IPA or Immunoprecise Antibodies pioneers AI designer GLP-1 therapies, a potential new chapter in diabetes treatments. Wow. Why is this a big deal? Well, you probably know. Everybody's talking about GLP-1s right now. And these patterns, which, uh, which only IPA possesses, are the key to unlocking unprecedented speed and precision in biologic, uh, biolo biologics uh, research. Bit of a tongue twister there. Lens AI is not just accelerating development. It's redefining the very process of therapeutic innovation. Nice. There's a lot more information here. We went through this in our, in our, uh, in our intro video, but at a high level, the company actually has some pretty good highlights here. They've recently relocated to Austin, Texas. They have a leadership update. Their commitment to the financial discipline. And they've recently concluded a quantum IR. There you go. Uh, they've had a fireside chat and uh, some strategic developments. And more importantly here, these are some of the some of the things they've already done and what they plan to do next in today's update. So with all of that said, we understand that right now, there is a really big market for artificial intelligence and uh, for AI drug discovery market specifically. Who's involved? It's the biggest players. There are AI and drug discovery vendors, enablers, and end users. But this goes way beyond the current scope we talked about. It could be huge. We heard about that trillion dollar for, uh, for AI overall, but for global AI drug discovery markets, it could grow to be worth $24.6 billion by 2029. And again, have a look here. There's governments uh, in regulatory bodies. There are key players and investors academic researchers, there are end users, and there is an entire ecosystem around here. So if you want to find out more about immunoprecise antibodies, you can find this talk on the NASDAQ under the ticker IPA. And then please make sure you read the, read the description for full, full disclosure details. Thank you very much for tuning into today's video.